In this part, we want to render these to-dos to our app. So now we have to use the use effect and also the use date. So now we are going to use the use date and then we change this to to-do and we set this as empty object. And also we have to use the use effect and we also want to set a to-dos. So we duplicate this and add the as here and we change this to empty array. And now we are going to use the use effect to fetch the data. So we, under here, we use use effect and then we delete this and we add a fetch data functions. And then we use the read to do's API. So constant result is equal to a wait API dot read to do's and then we set to do's and we are going to use result.data and why we use result.data is if we console.loss the result and then we clean up this and then we execute the fetch data. Now we go to the developer tools and then we go to the console. You can see there is a object and the array of to do's is under the data. So we have to use dot data to set the to-dos. So now after we already get the to-dos, we are going to render under the form. So we copy this bootstrap list group. And now if we copy the code from, from here, now we copy this and then we paste under the form. And then remember we have to change this to JSX so we convert this to JSX and then we format the document and save it. Now you can see the React app. And now we also has can add the margin top 5 or 4. Now you can see there is a separation between the list and also the form. And we have to delete this active. Now in this part, we are going to look through the array. So we already has the to-dos. So now we are going to type to-dos dot map to-do. And then we have to copy this and cut this and then we paste here. And we have to delete all of this. Now we can save it. And I think there is error. There is nothing to render. It's because we make some mistake. We should not use curly bracket. Instead, we should use just a bracket. So we correct this and save it. Now you can see there is two object. This is because we have two to do's. So now we are going to render the title by using to do dot title. And also we can render the date and which is to do dot date and we also has the detail so we use to do dot detail now if we back to our web you can see all the to do's and also the details and also the date now we are going to add the delete buttons now we go to search bootstrap delete icon and we click the trash now we copy this html and then we replace this with this SVG. Now if we back to the website, now you can see there is a delete icon on the list. 